Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to this video. So firstly, I would like to just briefly explain on how this video is going to be like. So um, yeah, this video is not going to be a very entertainment kind of thing and instead it will be like more to educational style. So I do hope that you could learn something after watching this video. So as the title mentioned, we're going to learn on very basic programming code using Python and R. And in this video, we're going to learn on how to install Anaconda in order for us to go into more details and more in depth in future to learn on how to operate using Python and R. So without further ado, let's go to start now. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to look at how to download Anaconda. Over here, I'm going to share you the link um, at the description box so you can find out the link to this website where you can download and install Anaconda. So over here, there's a download button where you can click on it and it will link you to the type of the installer. So for mine, I am uh, belongs to Windows, so I'm going to click on this. And while waiting, you can just wait for it to pop up. All right. So once it's done, we can just click on it. Okay, so we'll click on this. And it's opening. So this is the Anaconda 3 202 version. So you can just read through and click next. So you can also read through the license agreement. Okay. And once you have finished reading, and if you agree with that, you can just click on I agree. And install. For me, because it's just, um, I will just use it for myself. So I will just click on this. And you can choose the destination folder. So I will just click on install. Yeah, it's almost there. All right, so we are done with the installation. You can just click on next. And here also, um, you just click on next. Yeah, let me finish the action. All right, guys. So once we are done with the installation, we're going to launch the Jupyter from the search box. You can just type in Jupyter. As you can see here, Anaconda 3 is available here. So you can just click on it and it will take some time to launch it. So just wait for a while. All right, so it will launch you to this page whether you are at the right track because you can start to run some programming codes. So we're going to try some. The first one where I could see that most of the programming books will um, use this as the very first, um, at the very beginning of the teaching. So we're going to click on the run. So it will give you the answer of hello world. So for all the text, we will start with putting um, the double quotation to denote that the, the phrase is a text instead of number. So we could do some arithmetic as well. For instance, I'm going to do the very basic two plus three, and you can click on control and to get the answer. So I get a five. Let's try with more. For instance, I have two times three. So the asterisk sign mean um, times or multiplication. While well, we're going to do one um, more advanced thing. So I have two asterisks. So what do you guess? What is the answer? So I get eight. This is because I have two times two times two, where the double quotation, a uh, double asterisk, sorry. Double asterisk means that it's a power of. So I have two to the power of three. So I get eight. And let's try with more. For instance, I have so I get 3.33. So the slash means um, three, uh, division. So the backslash means division. So I get 3.33 after I divide the 10 by 3. So let's try with one more where I have 10 double backslash 3. So what do you think this means? 
So I get three. You might wonder how to get three. So the double backslash means that it's a flaw division whereby I will get the three. The final answer is in three because it rounds out the answer to the nearest integer. So at the first is 3.333335, right? Many, many three up to the five. So I will just round out the answer to three. So this is, uh, this is a function of uh, flaw division. And lastly, I also have one more to show you where I have the modulo. So this is the modulo, sorry. Sorry, I just put three. Okay, so modulo means that I will get the remainder after the division being done. So for example, 10 divided by three, I will get three and the remainder of one, right? So the remainder will be shown up here once you use the formula, use the function of modulo here. All right, thank you so much, guys, and hope to see you soon in the coming videos to learn more on the different programming codes, and I hope this video benefits you. Thank you, and see you. Bye-bye.